I don't I care don't if either. Muslims I'm are just, insulted by I'm the word crusade. I'm insulted by the word jihad. So when you guys stop saying jihad, I'll stop saying crusade. You said you do not want to see Christians being persecuted. Does that mean, as a Muslim, you are against the implementation of the apostasy law? Perfect. The most perfect religion. Well, no, the it book, hasn't. The book is there. And no, it the hasn't. Book is, it, it the is. book has been changed. The hadiths no, no, no. were invented. No, sorry. Salat was adapted. <laughs> Hajj sorry. was adapted. Let's be clear. What actually did Muhammad prescribe in terms of Salat? 13. Let me tell you. How many motions? Content always shy, come on, we have, we have content. Hey, should we start over here? Yeah. Well, here is good. If, if you balance your trust. Also good, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it yes? I would. So, so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I know to be play. honest, I didn't listen to all of Ralph's things okay. on, on your video. So if you've got any uh, things you want to bring up. Yeah, but I mean, I, obviously I disagree with the setting up of this patriotic alternative party. That's what I'm saying. Before, before I saw you standing in line with me, I thought it was obvious as well, but then yeah. I got doubts. I got doubts. I've got doubts. Yeah. Conte, one quick question unrelated to what you said to Bob. The, um... No, no. What's... what's is this going on? Do that red stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's just showing what's in focus. Okay, okay, okay. You need the red stuff to be on Bob. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to go like this. Go change your focus. focus. Is it on manual focus or auto? Auto. So yeah, he lost his temper, didn't he? Good for him. Maybe everything's in yeah. Bless his heart. I mean, I've seen people so like, like grab the Pope's hand and pull and yank, and it's kind of like... Mm, yeah. yeah. All right. It shows his humanity. You know he's human. It shows he's real. So what, what, what are the, the questions you want to ask? <laughs> Of, of apostasy so, in, in, your, so, in your doctrine. So the question is for the microphone whether Christianity has similar laws, similar laws for apostasy, uh, and the simple answer to that is no, we don't. Oh, okay, tell me when. <laughs> Doing a countdown. Ah, uh, okay. Testing, one, two, one, two. Testing, one, two, three. That's the problem with technology. The more complicated it gets, the more things can go wrong. <laughs> Give me a mic, Chef. We got the Dawa team here Testing, listening to the presentation. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Dawa team running away. No, no, That's no, 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 no. We're Always not, running we're away. We like it, we like it, we like it. <laughs> Inspired by Shamsi. No, 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 no. He's a, he's a, he's a, yeah. he's a good guy, he's a good guy. He's a good, he's a good guy. Right, so are we, are we good to go? So, so the question is, does Christianity have apostasy laws like Islam? So for those of you that don't know, the apostasy laws, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Shalom, brother, shalom. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, that, that, one second, one second, one second. Oh, oh, yo, I need to speak, oh, you, I need to speak, I need to speak to you. <laughs> yo, quick, quick, quick. Oh, the title, the title. Yeah. Yo, oh, oh, you soak, you soak, all right? Yeah. Um, so the question is, wait, 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 wait. No, man, make, 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 so only thing, lit. only thing, well, me not, Christians me have me the same kind of apostasy that, laws as Islam. I know, I know. It's an like, established it's fact. Though, it would, it There's very few people um, that would argue against I would, it. I would, I would that Islam so, has I apostasy it, uh, laws. Uh, Islam commands <laughs> that if you leave the religion of Islam, having been a Muslim, you should be killed. That is a law within Sharia, and it is fair of me as a Christian to condemn that law yeah, yeah, sorry, and that. oppose that law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, why is it fair? It's fair because Christians right, right. are suffering well, because of that law. Cool, bro. There are Christians that, that have left the religion of Islam all right. that are, are now facing death. There are Christians in this country 
who have had uh, attempts to kill them made on their lives because of these kinds of laws. Now, I want to ask all you liberal progressives and all you liberal do-gooders, yes. not that there's any surrounding me right now, to be fair, <laughs> yeah, but, but there's a liberal all you liberal that. progressives and do-gooders that might be watching this, you support the idea that Christians should lose their job if they are verbally critical of things like um, LGBTQ agenda or the redefinition of marriage or that they won't agree with the practice of homosexuality and they verbally speak against it and when they lose their jobs or when Christian bakers refuse to bake a cake that celebrates gay marriage or when a Christian hotelier refuses to allow an unmarried couple to share a room because it goes against our faith. You condemn us, you sack us, you prosecute us for discrimination. Why then do you same liberal progressives not challenge Muslims who uphold a law calling for the death of those who leave Islam? Why the double standards? Why is our challenging of LGBTQ less when when we're not calling for anyone's death when we're standing against that agenda because it contradicts our understanding of the sacraments you condemn us and you punish us but yet muslims that are arguing for the apostasy laws and for the mur the killing the execution of christians who have left islam you don't punish them you don't penalize them you turn a blind eye to that kind of bigotry. Now, Leon asks, does Christianity have similar laws? No, we don't. Not at all. There are Old Testament commands in the Old Covenant calling for those who leave Judaism to be punished. However, you're not speaking to a Jew. You're speaking to a Christian. And a Christian reads the Bible through a matrix of covenants. We read the Bible through a paradigm of covenants, which means that there is an old covenant, the associated literature is the Old Testament, and there is a new covenant with associated literature of New Testament. Christians don't reject the Old Testament in the sense of saying that these things are now chucked in the dustbin. But what we say is that because of the new covenant, the old covenant is taken to a new level. It is, it is renewed, it is transformed by the coming of the Messiah. Christ and the apostles never called for anyone to be executed for leaving the Christian faith. That has never been a Christian practice. The practice for amongst Christians, for those who leave the Christian faith, has been excommunication. Excommunication means to be exiled from the community, to be cast out of the community, to be seen as a non-believer and to be treated as a non-believer. Now, all through early Christian history, when someone was excommunicated by the emperors, or by the councils, the typical punishment would be exile. And the perfect example of that would be Saint Athanasius. Saint Athanasius stood against the heresy of Arianism. But when the Roman emperors were Arians, the punishment that they did to Athanasius was to exile him. And he was exiled multiple times over the course of his life. The punishment that is given by secular society is different from that given by the church. The church has never believed that it has the right to give capital punishment. And it never has. <clears throat> capital punishment has always been the prerogative of the secular authorities. In Romans 13, it states that it is the state that is given the sword. It is the secular rulers that are given the power of the sword to give life and death. 
So capital punishment was given by the secular authorities. Capital punishment for heresy was something that was introduced by Christian secular authorities at the time of the Albicinian heresy in the Ladoc, France. And it developed from there and was also practiced in places across Europe from the 11th century onwards which means that for the vast majority of Christian history we Christians did not punish people through death because of apostasy or heresy which means that it is something that is connected to the judgment of civil authorities now how is this different from Islam it is different from Islam in this way by the way that laws are constructed in the two religions. Within the Christian faith, we have the Christian paradigm, the narrative of the Christian gospel, which lays out for us doctrines, values and history. And these develop into laws based upon civil authorities reflecting upon how best to implement the values of the Christian faith. So an example of this would be the works of people like William Temple, who looked at the Christian teaching about helping the poor and argued for the establishment of a welfare state, but then it was for the civil authorities to create that welfare state based upon a reflection of Christian values. So it is a secondary movement of Christian civil authority to establish the appropriate punishment or not to a particular crime. It is not given explicitly within the Christian faith. By contrast, Islam does not see a separation between church and state, between secular authority and religious authority. And thus, what is established by Muhammad as the law is the civil law. Civil laws can change within a Christian paradigm. They cannot change within an Islamic paradigm. So when Islam calls for the execution of those who leave Islam, there is no possibility of reform. It cannot be changed. You cannot undo it. It is established forever. Which means that any Muslim committed to Muhammad's teachings today believes that those who leave the religion of Islam should be executed today. Now, you liberal progressive hypocrites, <laughs> you who punish us Christians yeah, yeah. because we speak out against gay marriage, yeah, yeah. you who go after our businesses and you prosecute us in the courts and you try to charge us for hate crimes, Ooh. when are you going to go after the Muslims yeah. who stand up for the apostasy laws? Exactly. When are you going to take them to court? Yeah. When are you going to charge them with preaching religious hatred? When are you going to sack them from their jobs? When are you going to kick them off their university courses? When are you going to punish them with fines and send them to prison? Now, one, one moment, one moment. Christians, by their civil authority, can implement or unimplement punishments depending upon the circumstances of the time and the situation. It is for this reason that a Christian paradigm is better than an Islamic paradigm for the creating of civil law. Because civil law needs to be adaptive to the circumstances. If you fix law from a particular period of time, and a particular socio-economic and cultural context and then you say that this law cannot be changed then eventually those laws will become out of date. Perfect example. Muhammad in his ignorance and because his non-existent God never told him did not believe 
One second, I'm still talking. Did not believe, did not believe and did not understand that the rising and the setting of the sun is not the same across the whole world. He believed that what he experienced in Saudi Arabia was true for everywhere in the world. But we know that's not true. If you go to Greenland, the sun rises just twice a year. But the practice of fasting, according to the Sunnah, is established based upon the rising and the setting of the sun. So, what do Muslims do? Because their law, as instituted by Muhammad, isn't actually appropriate to any Muslim in Greenland or Iceland or the northern parts of Norway and Russia. What do they do? They have to invent their religion post hoc after Muhammad, whilst at the same time claiming that their religion was given by God perfect at the time of Muhammad without any need to change at all. So, if they can change the practice of fasting, why can they not change the laws about apostasy? Perfect. Now you can come in. Come on, camera. Bob, uh, several points here. I appreciate I didn't listen you know, from the beginning, but I'll, uh, based on what I've heard about uh, how somehow is Islam is, is, uh, is inferior uh, to Christianity and so on and so forth. First of all, you are asking us to, you complain about Christians being persecuted in this country and you wish your response to that is why don't Muslims get persecuted as well so so in other words let's replace your persecution with a persecution of another minority do you see how I wouldn't accept that I wouldn't want you to be persecuted for your beliefs likewise I wouldn't want Muslims to be persecuted Can I respond to that point yes right so his point was why are you calling for the discrimination of another group to replace the discrimination of Christians I wasn't I was pointing out the hypocrisy of liberal progressives who discriminate against Christians because we don't and will never accept the LGBTQ agenda to transform family and marriage and the fact that Christians have lost their jobs, their businesses and their places on university because they won't go along with it but these same liberal progressives are not sacking Muslims for defending apostasy laws. Yeah. That was the hypocrisy I was pointing out. Second point, second point. You said you do not want to see Christians being persecuted. Does that mean as a Muslim, you are against the implementation of the apostasy laws? Okay, so can I respond to you? Yeah, to my uh, question. So, no, 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 no. <laughs> we go back to the original, your original point, then I'll respond to your question. So, it, 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 it's good that you, uh, you, 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 you know, you, you're not seeking to specifically discriminate against Muslims. I, I, I take, that's what I'm taking from what you're saying. Uh, as a follow-up to that, uh, should you not uh, surely see that, for example, in China, where Muslims are by far more persecuted much more, but nonetheless Christians are also persecuted. For example, the Chinese Communist government, uh, and I presume you, you like me, you, you are vehemently against communism. The Chinese, yes. yeah, the Chinese Communist government are harvesting organs of not only Muslims but Christians, right? They are persecuting Christian places of worship and of course Muslim places of worship. Do you not see that instead of your hate mongering, that you can just focus uh, 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 as a joint alliance, almost uh, even a temporary alliance, to come? We'll, we'll go into the hate problem here. But a temporary alliance, temporary alliance to, pers to combat the greatest evil that we're facing today, which is the, co the communist regime, which is persecuting anyone of religion, whether it's Muslim, Christian, or Buddhist, or Hindu. And my question? Your question about if I. Uh, Do you support the apostasy? Laws? Okay, okay, okay. So uh, you're basically asking me. Uh, 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 oh, no, no, no. Relating to that question, sorry, I will come back to the question. Relating to that question, you said there is no killing of uh, Christians who leave their religion. It's never happened in history. I didn't say that. No, no, you did, you did. I said the exact opposite. You didn't say that. I said the exact opposite. What? So that in, in history, in history, in Christian history, if you had actually listened, I said no. The you exact said they were opposite. exiled; they were not killed. They you were... didn't listen properly, did you? Uh, no, at once I walked off. So if, well, if, there you go. Okay, Don't no, no, comment correctly. on something so if you didn't listen. To it. Now. Yeah. So now I've answered about the apostasy. Yeah. Do you support the yeah. apostasy laws as established by Muhammad? I, 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 first of all, Prophet Muhammad is our guide, our moral duty. Whatever he says, whatever he does, so, yeah. whatever he commands, that is the moral thing. So uh, is that a yes? No, no, no. Wait, wait. Is that a yes or no? Come on, man. But the point is, the apostasy law has its context that it's specified in. For example, <laughs> we don't implement the policy law That's in this country. We, no, no, it's a legitimate thing. We don't implement the, many things in this country relating to... No, no, do you agree, do you agree with the, in yeah. the apostasy laws as, as 
dictated by Muhammad. What is the apostasy law? That those that choose to relieve the religion yeah. of Islam should be killed. Is that is that what you understand from the apostasy law? That's what I understand. From okay, the so the, the actual uh, should be executed. Sorry, no, 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 executed no, no, no. after judicial so process. The actual apostasy law is that if someone just answer whether you agree no, with it. No, but yes, yes or no. no, no because because you're, you're asking me to agree something. That Does anyone want to hear him answer the question? Yes, please. Yes, please. Answer the question. No, no, no. Do you agree? You don't get to that a debate, Christian Bob. who has left Bob. Islam should be executed Bob, 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 after Bob, Bob, judicial Bob, Bob. process. Yes. Do question. you agree? The actual, Do you agree? Yes or no? If you're not interested Getting in the discussion, okay, the, you know, so the actual apostasy law. Go on, tell us the, what the actual, the actual apostasy, apostasy law is. If someone is publicly, publicly opposing Islam, for example, uh, it, it has left Islam and is starting to insult Prophet Muhammad, insult Islam, and so on, he, the judge takes him. Again, there are even differences of opinion in this matter. Just get to the point, bro. No, no. If you, if you're not, if you, if you're <laughs> he's dancing around. Dance, he's still dancing. He's still dancing. Answer the question. Do you believe whatever, Bob, whatever Bob, the qualification? Bob, you're asking me a question of because you're not answering no, it, bro. No, no, no. Do you believe you, bro. that my friend well. Kryptonite, who left Islam, should be executed Bob, Bob, Bob. for leaving Islam? Fair that, question. Come on, stop dancing. Fair question. Yeah. Answer the question. Yeah. That's that. There has to be a certain mannerism in the discussion. Okay? Well, try practicing it, bro. Answer the question. Okay. My, okay. So. In Islam, if the apostate, if someone leaves Islam and is publicly public leaving Islam, insulting Islam, and historically that meant also siding with the enemies of Islam, then the judge gives him, takes him in, questions him, gives him three days to repent. If he still insists on his position of publicly hating on Muslims, attacking Muslims, siding with Muslim enemies, then yes, the apostasy. Okay, let me. So let me just address what you heard. Come on. He mentioned we talked about three things. All right. So firstly, should Christians oppose the communists? Absolutely we should. Yeah. With Muslims, with the com Muslims. not with Muslims. Ah. We should oppose <laughs> communists. Yeah. We should oppose communists full stop, full stop. Regardless of what the Muslims do. Exactly. If the Muslims ally with the communists, we, we should still we oppose. Communism. We should still oppose we the communists. Communism. The communists have killed more Christians than any other ideology in the world. More Christians have died at the hands of communists than any other ideology, including Islam. Yeah. I also stated quite clearly that Christian civil authorities did practice from the 11th century onwards until about the 1700s capital punishment for heretics and apostates. Which, you condemn which I would not call for the practice of today. But you condemn or not? I mean, it's. it's, it's, it's I would not call for the practice of today. By contrast, stood here today in the 21st century yeah. in London, yeah. you heard a Muslim argue in defense of the execution of Christians who left yeah. Islam wow. for the punishment he says of abusing the prophet. prophet. Uh. That means when I point out yeah. that Muhammad was a paedophile who had sex with a six year a nine year old child, yeah. I would be abusing the prophet. Wow, you tell the truth. Kryptonite, who is a Christian yeah. who left Islam, yeah. and one of the reasons why he left Islam is because he couldn't accept a prophet marrying a six year old girl and then having sex with her, then having sex with her, and then note the aggression. Note yeah. the aggression. Yeah, it stings. It when you point out the reality yeah. of what their prophet did, yeah. they consider it an insult. Exactly. <laughs> he tells me to fuck off in the park. Wow. But imagine yeah. what our society would look like if people like yeah. him yeah. ever gained the reins of Power. Wow, brace yourself. Imagine wow. Wow. what Never. our society would look like Never. if these Salafist punks <laughs> ever gained the reins of power. Yes. I'll tell you what we'll look like. We'll look like Syria. Yeah. We'll look like Saudi Arabia. Iran. We'll look like Iran. Yes. We'll look like Egypt, yes. where Christian churches are bombed, yeah. where Christians suffer from anti-Christian pogroms. We'll look like Pakistan, yeah. where Christians are bombed in parks, where their churches are bombed, killing women and children. 
will look like these kinds of societies. And all of you liberal do gooders <laughs> who buy into the narrative yeah, yeah. that someone points out this information to you yeah. is some kind of hate mongerer. You are the kind of monkeys who put their hands over their eyes and their ears and their mouth. I see no evil, I hear no evil, I speak no evil. No, no, as Christians, we offer something better than Islam. We offer something better than Islam. We offer Christ as our example and the teachings of the apostles who emphasize, who emphasize, come and stand, come and stand here, come and debate here, come and debate here. Okay, ask one question and then I'll answer. What's your question? The question was that Christians, they started World War One and World War Two. Non-Muslims were involved. And okay, let me, let me address that point. Million. Let and me address that, that point. The no, no, no. So he's all... Right, so the one. question is, good question, good question. Christians started World War One and World War Two, not Muslims. Yeah, he said that. Let's just deal with that for a moment. All right. Because the reality is World War One yeah. was started by an ideology of nationalism which is in direct contradiction to the Christian faith. Christians are not nationalists. Christians form a pan-confederacy of ethnicities and nations bound together in their love for Jesus Christ. During World War II, that was an ethno-nationalistic ideology and it is interesting that the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem, a Muslim, sided with Hitler yeah. because he also hated the, the Jews. Jews. Perfect. That's, true, that's, true. that's right. It was interesting Perfect. that the Albanian Muslims yeah. sided with the Nazis and had a special division of the Waffen SS in the in the Waffen SS. That's your, that's your, that's your it is interesting yeah. that thousands of Jews were saved by being hidden in Catholic monasteries yeah, yeah, yeah. around Europe. Okay, when Rommel the Desert Fox went through North Africa and went to Morocco. Yeah, so I'm not claiming to be like an expert. One You're question and then get out of the ring. No, no. You're not an expert. One question and then get out of the ring. Get out of the ring, yeah. Went through Algeria, Algeria. went to the, the kingdom of Morocco. Um, uh, Rommel was like, okay, yeah, give us your oh, Jews. Yeah. And then the king of Morocco was like, what Jews? There are no Jews here, only Moroccans. And there are actually a lot of Jews in Morocco. I'm not denying that there were good Muslims. But come, like, I'm not denying that there were good yeah. Muslims. Yeah. But the point that this brother was making, yeah. because you weren't listening, the point that this brother was making, he was trying to criminalize Christians because of World War One and World War II, whilst ignoring <laughs> the nuances and the complexities <laughs> of the issue. You can't generally stroke a complicated issue like World War One and World War Two. I'm not denying that there were good Muslims. I am pointing out that Albanian Muslims sided with the Nazis and had a special division in the Waffen SS and that the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem was a personal friend of Adolf Hitler. Like, let's say, like, Whereas the Pope of the time yeah. condemned the influence of national socialism on the practices of the church. So, like, I think if, like, we are, we're living in a proper Christian country under Christian laws... We people, don't. Uh, yeah, I know, but let's say we were. Would people be allowed to criticise Christianity and, like, leave and, like, practice non-Christian acts? Or is that Christian haram? Is? There's no, there's no injunction... Will there be freedom in, in your... There is no injunction within the Christian faith calling for the punishment of those That's who criticize true. the Christian no, faith. Hold on in, 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 no, don't tell him to be quiet. You're not a dictator here. I'm talking to you, bro. Let's not, so there's no injunction within the Christian faith. Notice the supremacist is telling you to no, shut no, up in no, the no, park. No, so, so in terms of the Christian faith, there is no injunction within the New Testament calling for Christians to punish one another, except that they be excluded from the church. Church. That is the only punishment that is prescribed in the New Testament. Now, 
Uh, Christians in the past, from the 11th century to the 1700s, due to civil authorities, did practice capital punishment for heresy and apostasy. However, before the 11th century and after the 1700s, Christians were arguing against such practices. I mean, well, they was arguing, didn't Queen Elizabeth, you know, I think burnt Catholics so long. Yes, I know. Like, what period was that, bro? I know, it was before the Was that between century. the 11th century and the 1700s? That. There you go. <laughs> so I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Well, I think but show me. But the difference is, the difference is, this is why my criticism of Islam is legitimate. Because in Islam, apostasy laws are commanded by Muhammad. Yes. They can never be changed. Yes. Which means that whether I live in the 7th century, the 10th century, the 14th century, the 17th century or the 21st century, yeah. the punishment for leaving Islam is what? Death. 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 Uh, Execution. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Um, so, what, right. what, what, what's, what's the punishment? Come on. Why Richard the Lionheart went to Jerusalem? Why did Richard the Lionheart went to Jerusalem? Yes. Okay. Because Christians were fighting to liberate Christian land from uh, yeah, Muslim occupation. There was both. Where's the document? It was. There's no historian, brother. So, the kind of nonsensical argument made by my Muslim colleague here <laughs> is that there's no document calling Palestine and Syria and Egypt Christian land. They were Christian majority countries when Muslims invaded them. And Christians and Christians in the Crusades were fighting to liberate Christian land from Muslim occupation. There was Actually, Christianity split in the Middle East by the sword by the Roman Empire. Not true. Which was made by Constantine in Constantinople. When did Christianity start? And thank God we have cleansed now. When did Christianity start? When did cleansed, he says. Cleansed, he says. This is the supremacist narrative that exists in too much of the Muslim community. There are too many Muslims who buy into a narrative of supremacism and bigotry against Christians and we don't call it out because of political correctness and a weak liberal progressive ideology. He said cleansed Constantinople when they invaded Constantinople in 1453 and butchered so many Christians that the Bosphorus Straits ran red with Christian blood. Now he said Christianity was spread by Constantine by the sword. That is a lie. I suggest, I suggest that he reads the works of Dr. Bart Ehrman who talked about how Christianity no, no, no. became how a did, world religion. How did, how did Christianity, the by the time of the conversion of Saint Constantine, had become 50% of the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire and that England was not, not? The with Roman the use. I'm answering your question. Just answer that question. I am answering Didn't your first question. <laughs> forget Have about some the first manners. question. No, go to the last oh, question. now he wants me to forget about because the first question. Because this question, question will, will, will show you. Why does he right. want me to forget about the first question? Why, Bob? Because Just it will show how did, ignorant did, did, did he Empire is. Oh. And he is an ignorant man. He is an ignorant He's man. Answering the question. Christy, I'm answering your first question. Just answer this question. No, quickly. I will answer your first answer question, question and then I will answer your second be quick question. Then. Don't take your time. I'll take my time no, just because be I am not your dimmy <laughs> and you are not the <laughs> Kali. I don't pay you a jizya tax <laughs> and I never will. <laughs> and I never will. The You're day they guy. bring listen, out the listen. jizya tax in the UK, yeah. I will go to court for murder. Because I will kill the tax collector. <laughs> I'll die before I pay the jizya. Perfect. So, so, back to the Christian <laughs> the Roman, Roman Empire. Empire. Invade England or not? Before, right, I'm going to show just how stupid this man is. Okay, the Roman Empire invaded 
England at the time of Julius Caesar. That was 300 years before Constantine, your clown. So they weren't Christians? <laughs> they were not Christians, okay. they were pagans. When did they turn this Christians? is what happens when, they when they someone the gets Baths their Baths knowledge of history the and, and about and Christianity the from the likes of Zakia Naik. You don't know anything about the history of these lands, bro. You're a moron. You You're don't know anything about the Christian bar. 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 And and the the and Constantine. 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 It symbols of Christ. It was symbols of Aqua <laughs> in the Roman baths Even Julius Caesar knows more than you. The you the way. Way. I know Get more than you. You don't know anything, bro. Julius Caesar invaded England in what year? What year? What year? I don't care. What year? All I know that. What year? What year? What year? What year? It does matter because he made the argument that the Roman Christians invaded England. But the fact is, Julius Caesar invaded England before Christianity started. That's how idiotic this man is. You're talking nonsense. You're swearing. But let's look at all the lands that Muslims invaded. Egypt. Yeah. Syria, yeah. Palestine, yeah. Armenia, yeah. Georgia, yeah. Turkey, yeah. Morocco, yeah. Tunisia, yeah. Libya, yeah. Spain, yeah. Portugal, yeah. Sicily, yeah. Italy, yeah. Hungary, yeah. Romania, yeah. Slovakia, yeah. Czech, yeah. Albania, yeah. Macedonia, yeah. Pakistan, yeah. Afghanistan, yeah. India, the Persia. All of these lands were invaded by Muslims and most of them were invaded before the First Crusade. Learn your history, Christians, and learn to tell your own history. Because if you don't tell your own history, your enemies will tell your history for you. And that is why it is important that you know your history. It's why it's important that you know your own history so that people like this cannot villainize the Christian faith based upon their ignorance of history. You're not used to free speech, are you? You're he's not, not he's clearly not thought. used to free speech. You're not used to freedom he's of thought, freedom of religion. He's agitated by free speech. No, <laughs> he's irritated by, the, by free speech. By the attacks, by the constant attacks by you, by you and him. That's why I'm agitated. Are you agitated? Because of the constant attacks. Are you attacks? agitated? Are these attacks? Are you agitated? Go and tell when, us, yeah, tell go and tell the policeman. <laughs> go and make a report for hate speech. Go on, they're right there. They're right there. So not really attacks then, are you? More like accurate criticisms of a dunce that doesn't know history. Perfect. <laughs> we died, we died, yeah, we died. I do, you don't, so stop talking crap about my religion. So, yeah, crap about my religion. Crap about my religion. Did I say something that was crap about your religion? Which bit? You don't even know my religion, you didn't even ask me, you just assumed that I'm a Muslim. I am assuming that, yes, am I wrong? I can't tell you what I'm talking about. I can't tell you. That's, by the way, called in the corner by a Muslim for I'm a Muslim, but I got caught out lying. Are you embarrassed by your religion? Are you ashamed of your religion? What is your religion now? Well, I'm a Christian. What's your religion? What's your religion? Christian what? What is your religion? What is your religion? What no, is your no, religion? No, no. You what's your religion? What is your religion? I, I, I just did Christian, what's Christian yours? What? Christian what? Christian what? What's yours? Christian what? Christian what? Do you notice how he doesn't want to answer a just question? Answer the question first. No, no, no. no. You, you answer the question. I'm not your dimmy. I'm not paying you a jizya and you're not the caliph. Okay, you said you're Christian? So what kind of Muslim are you? What kind of Muslim are you? Yes. How many kinds are there? Are no. you a Muslim? No. What do you know about Islam? I know lots. I know enough about what Islam. You know about Shia Sunni? Yeah, okay, so let's talk about the Shia Sunni differences. Forget about the Sunni. Let's talk let's, about the Shia. Let's talk about the Shia Sunni differences. Tell me what you know about the Shia. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. Ah, so he's a Shia Muslim. Ah. There we go. <laughs> okay, well done, well done. There we go. At last. You, know. <laughs> you have to force it out of him, but he gets there eventually. <laughs> what's no, what's your uh, belief now? What's your what do you call about it? Shia Islam? No, about Shia. About Christian? What? Uh, oh, now he wants to change the topic. Okay, <laughs> we will go back. Guys, just, just, guys, just, just, he keeps trying to change the topic. I told you, I told Every you minute he's changing the question. Now, so, as a Shia yeah, Muslim, to be fair, as a Shia Muslim, <laughs> do you agree as a Christian with what? Iran's as a Christian practice? What are you? 
of killing those who leave the religion of Islam? No, I don't agree with the killing of religion. You don't agree with killing apostates? No. Freedom in uh, freedom of religion, I believe in. Then I'll shake your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a good man, you're a good man. Because there is He's a good man. He's better than his prophet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's better than his prophet. <laughs> He's better than Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is an ayah in the Quran that says, La ikra fi din La it means no uh, hater, no, uh, no compulsion in religion. Okay. So that's what I believe in personally. Yeah. That uh, there should be no compulsion. Do you believe in the use of hadiths? No, I don't believe in the Sunni hadith. I think they have so much lies in them. And tell me, why do you think that the Sunni hadiths have lies in them? Because they have been uh, by the winners of the, 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 in the history. Bani Umayyah, they have won the war. Yeah. And they have written the history. Because we all know the history written by the winners. Yep. That's my personal belief that they have defeated the Alawites and then they have rewritten the history. Are you an Alawite? Alawite? Um, <laughs> what does what does Alawite mean to you? It, it's, a, it's a it's a Shia group. Shia, yes. Within, Shia. are you an Alawite? A Shia, Shia. You're a Shia. Shia yes. Okay, so we got that. So you're a part of the party of Ali? No, I'm not. I don't have any, any political affiliation. I just have like a, a system of belief. What that, does Shia the mean? The twelve Imam system of belief. Yeah, the twelve Imam system of belief. Correct. Yeah. I believe in the twelve Imam. Yeah, that it passes the, through the family not of the Prophet through, Muhammad. It just passes to a specially twelve person. Yeah, and the, the last Imam, he's uh, he's the one waiting for. He's the Messiah. Yes, I, I, I know that. that uh, he's yeah. the Imam Al Mahdi Al Qa'im. Yeah, and uh, do you know about this? Have you heard about this before? Uh, I, I know in, it, in its generality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know in its specifics. I'm I don't have any political debate. affiliation. That's fine because I'm living as a guest in the UK, so mainly I'm just practicing my. Uh, Religious. In yeah. A, in a, so in 12 in a Shiism, way, just it, to be yeah. clear, yeah. in 12 Shiism, are you saying on yeah. camera, because yeah. people are going to Google it straight away, yeah. are you saying that there's no laws of apostasy? Laws of apostasy? Yes. No, we don't have a state, so there's no law of apostasy. But if you had a state, would there be a law of apostasy? There will be a law, yeah. There will be three three options you'll get. When the Imam Mahdi comes back, yes. the Imam, he will give you three options. Either you accept him as an Imam, yeah. or you pay the jizya, yeah. or the sword. Right. One of the three. Okay. If you don't take him as an Imam, Imam Mahdi when he comes. Yeah. That's not up to me. But you think that, that I don't know when he's gonna come. But you think but that only will happen when the Mahdi comes. Exactly. And Jesus will pray behind him. Do you believe that twelve Shias have the right to set up a state before the Mahdi? Uh, they 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 they, they uh, set up a state before the Mahdi. They can try, but it will be very difficult. And if they succeed, can they? Would you would you argue in that situation for the implementation of apostasy laws? Uh, the the application of Oslo law is, is uh, forbidden for us to, to do them now because it's only lawful for us to do the apostasy law when the Mahdi comes okay. and the uh, Isa will pray behind him. If that happened, then he's, he's the one who will set it up. I don't do that thing. <laughs> yeah. I can just convey the message to you because I, I, I'm reading the I, So I, 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 have a, I have a question. You believe that your religion goes back to Muhammad? I believe my religion goes back to Muhammad. Yeah. And the Sunnis believe that their religion goes back to Muhammad? Correct. Yeah. But when you practice Salat, for instance, your Salat is different to the Sunni Salat, is it not? Okay. We pray like this. Yeah. They pray like this. And, and what uh, are the differences are there? The when you do the Salat? Are, there is a quite a lot of differences. Yeah, please do. When we, we believe that the, the last thing to say in the Salat, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Pray to Muhammad and Al Muhammad. We believe in Al Muhammad, they say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. The main difference as well is, is the tawalli or tabari, loyalty and this, this loyalty. You have to have the loyalty to the friends of Imam Ali, the Emir of Ali, who is the commander of the Jaders. Ali. Yep. His name is Patrice. I'm just, yeah. And the Sunnis don't believe this. The Sunnis, they believe in, yeah. uh, they believe in, they, 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 they have their loyalty to the enemy. Right. Okay. So I, I, I want to focus in on the, 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 practic, the, the practical differences, not the doctrinal differences. And the reason for that, I'll, I'll come on to. So you, you, one of the ways that you, you pray Salat differently, what are the other ways that your Salat is different from the Sunni Salat? Yeah. The Salat is different in a way that uh, there is a lot of similarity. There is like differences. Okay? The difference is, is that uh, I can name you two, but that one way they pray like that. They yeah. pray like Shia pray like this. Yeah. So pray like this. Yeah. Other way is that uh, after we finish prayer, uh, we do the ta'qib, du'a, supplication. Yeah. It's completely different than the Sunni. What do they do? Because the Shia Sunnis, they curse the enemies of Imam Ali yeah. and, uh, and the Hussein. Yeah. They have a lot of, they curse in Bani Umayyah. This is the Sunnis or the Shia? This is the Shia. This is what the Shia do. They curse the enemies of uh, Ali. They curse the enemies of Ali. And the Sunnis, what do they do? They curse as well Ali. They curse, but they, now it's they not curse Ali. Yeah, before. Sunnis believe. But they don't do it anymore now. 
Right. So what do they do now that's different from what you do? No, no, that they, the difference is what we do that they are loyal to our enemies. No, 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 no. Yeah. We are no, in terms in terms of their practice of salah. Practice of salah. Is it just the hand gesture? To be honest, it's, 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 it's the four the four pillars are pretty really much the same between the Shia because the they're not the, 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 it's those little differences yeah. that I want to home in on. Because the Salah, the Sunni have one way of doing Salah. What are the differences are there about Salah? Like the rock, for instance. The rock, exactly. Thank you for reminding me, actually. Yeah. The rock, uh, the Shia, they pray on the rock. They believe the rock is from uh, the, 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 the turba. Turba means the soil yeah. of Karbala, or the sand of Karbala. We believe when we pray on it, when we prostrate our head here, yeah. yeah. the five, five things will be removed from it. Such as, uh, I have a heavy sorry. Yeah. I'm not sure if I've saved it. It's okay, you don't need to prove it. I'm just for the moment going to take it uh, with you. I can give you the definition it's because uh, this question you asked. So they, they use the rock, that is one of the There is an answer for it. Do you do wudu differently? The wudu we do, it's is it pretty different much the same. From, it's pretty much the same. The face, the arm, the arm, the leg. Ritual washing. Yeah. But is it is it the same as the Sunnis? Do you do it in the same way or do you do it differently? <laughs> so it goes up to the elbows, <laughs> using the little finger, <laughs> cleaning inside the nose and the ears. It's the same. Yeah. Except the, the fifth pillar, because the difference between the Islam and the Sunni Islam is that the Sunni Islam have four pillars, the Shia Islam have five pillars. The, but they have a similarity between them, which is the four pillars, which is the, the fasting, Sayyam, and the Salat, and the Zakat, uh, and the Hajj. It's the four pillars that the Sunni and the Shia together agree. Except some, some difference in the Salat. So what's the, 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 the fifth pillar is Shahada? No? The fifth pillar, no. The Sunni they say is the Shahada. Okay. The Shia they say is the Wilaya. The Wilaya means the loyalty. Why you put yeah. They, 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 they put the loyalty as number one pillar in Shia Islam. The loyalty should be to the 12 Imams, starting from Amir al-Mumin Ali ibn Abi Talib, going all the way down to al -Qa'im. It is the loyalty to them and the bara'a min a'da and the declare of innocence from their enemies. So coming, coming to the Salah, coming to the differences in Salah, you claim that the way that you pray was taught by Prophet Muhammad. Passed on, passed on. Yeah. And the Sunnis claim that the way that they pray was taught by the Prophet Muhammad. Correct. So what evidence can you provide to me that the way that the Sunnis do Salah is not following what Muhammad did? Because after the Muhammad got killed, Muhammad died, he got killed shortly. Yeah, yeah. And after that, he had put a, a wasiyah, and he had put a message that Ali should be the, the guy who will lead the ummah, will lead the nation after him. He is the correct person. However, this nation didn't agree with that. No, I'm asking about Salat. The Salat. What are you asking me about the Salat? I'm going to try one more time. You have a way of praying Salat that you say goes back to Muhammad. The Sunnis have a way of praying Salat that goes back to yeah, Muhammad. Right. What evidence do you have that the way you nah, pray Salat yeah, goes, goes back to Muhammad? Yeah, I have. No, what no one would say. Right, that's what I'm saying. We believe, we believe that the Torah Imam, they are the right no, messengers of Muhammad. We believe that because the Sunnis, they were under the Umayyad Caliphate. No, no, no. Because most so the of the uh, Sunni territory was spread by the sword, by the Sunni Caliphate, and they have spread Quran and the prayer. As well, when they were taking the territory. So, what you're saying. So, they have spread the Sunni way. This is not evidence. This is a claim. I want to, and what is the evidence that your Salat goes back to Muhammad and not the Sunni Salat? Because here's my problem. This is one of the reasons why I think all Islam is invented, whether it's Shia or Sunni. You have to make your question clear, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to make. I, my, my question is super clear. You said, what's, my, my what's, question what's the difference is, between Sunni Salat and Shia? My, my, my question is super clear. Everyone will understand it. But, but it seems to me that the fact that the Sunnis and the Shia pray Salat differently yeah. is evidence that neither form of Islam actually goes all the way back to Muhammad. That at some later point, maybe within a hundred years, maybe a hundred and fifty years, one or both versions of Islam in, in, invented their practices post hoc. That the practice of, the practice of Salat, if it, if it really originated so concretely, in the historical community, it would be identical in both groups. But it was never uh, in the same group. It was always uh, different between the factions. It was always a faction between the East. So 
the Salat, they were people weren't praying together. Some people were praying alone, some people were praying different mosques like we have now in London. We have over 100 mosques, 99 Sunni mosques maybe, and 1% Shia. That's how it's always been. The so my, been my question to you is, yeah. what is, what is the evidence that you can provide to me that the Shia way of doing Salat is the one that goes back to Muhammad and not the Sunni way of doing Salat is the one that goes back to Muhammad. Well, experiencing it yourself by that experiencing that's the not Sunni proof. one and experiencing the Shia one. These are, these are and esoteric. you see the mercy how it gets when you pray the Shia Salat. You see this the is, this is not evidence that That's the only evidence religion. I can provide for you. If you want to try, you, have no evidence. you are welcome to try it because you have then, to try Then it you have no evidence. You have no evidence. I have the evidence but you don't want to try. You have a phobia of course. This, this is not evidence. Come with me to the mosque and pray the Shia way and see how you feel. Then, you pray only to Yahweh. This is, yeah, we we worship Yahweh. That's true. Yahweh. That's the la, Allah la ilaha illahwa. No, no this this part. kind of false linguistic friend. It's not false. It, it's another silly Zakir Naik it, argument. It's not Zakir Naik. <laughs> it I is. never read Zakir Naik. It is. All, all I've read is from the. Have you read the Shia book? Akbar, the Akbar in Hebrew yeah. means mouse. Akbar. Akbar means mouse. Does that mean that every time Muslims say Akbar in Arabic that they're saying mouse? I have no idea about that. It's Hebrew, a false Hebrew linguistic friend. Hebrew, you Hebrew. can't say that because one word sounds like another word in another language Arabic, that they Arabic mean the is same a stronger thing. Language than Hebrew. Everybody knows it. I don't think everybody knows that. I'm sure plenty of Jews would disagree with that. This kind of this kind of there's a lot of false logic that you're using. Well, you're, you're appealing to esoteric evidence to claim that your form of salat goes back to Muhammad. That doesn't prove anything. You're using false linguistic friends. The fact that words might sound similar doesn't mean that they mean the same. The 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 fact that um, you know you 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 you've made lots of very spurious claims about the Christian faith. Some claim are a truth. historical claims. A lot of claims. claim are truth about the Christian faith because when George Bush invaded Iraq, he said, "This is the Crusade." So it was very insulting to the Muslim population that lives there because they see that the, the, they see the American as uh, people who come to liberate their country. But when you say it's a crusade, you see the feelings are like we have been betrayed. You understand? Uh, that's that's completely irrelevant to the that's, Christian. Th that's faith, very relevant because you are mentioning the global. When you talk the, about the, Islam, the language you of the crusade. Phenomena, okay? I'm on crusade now. The, I'm on crusade now. The language of crusade. In, in the Western lexicon, the I don't care if it's insulting to Muslims. I honestly don't care. I honestly, and I, I want to put it on record. Tell people, tell people, I, don't I don't care if either. Muslims I'm are just, insulted by I'm the word crusade. I'm insulted by the word jihad. So when you guys stop saying jihad, I'll stop saying crusade. But in the Western lexicon, crusade means for uh, crusade is used for any noble struggle. There was a crusade against alcohol in the West. When, when, the, um, when the abolitionists in America in the 1920s were campaigning for the abolition of, of the use of alcohol and to make it illegal to use alcohol across the whole of the United States, they called it a crusade. The Methodists in the 1800s, in the 1800s, the Methodists launched uh, the pledge crusade which was to get men to pledge that they wouldn't touch the vile drink alcohol and they called it a crusade no. a crusade in the western lexicon now simply means any noble cause but you are aware that the, the, the cross is, is related to a lot of terror the world the, the cross no, no offense but you have established yourself as not much of a legitimacy to anything to be fair no, not much of an authority on anything i'm bringing fact that in the world war one world war two a lot of people died you know? do you do you think as a european that i don't know that a lot of people died in world war one and world war two brother we we actually have a day you you are such an ignorant man we actually we have a day. We actually have a Imagine day that commemorates the deaths of World War One and World War Two. Like the idea that I don't know that. Did you honestly think you were telling me something I didn't know just then? No, I'm just reminding you. Maybe forgot. No, bro. No one. No one born in the West forgets that. You don't. You don't forget that. So anyway, brother. Anyways, I don't want to go to. I think. Let's I think, talk about the faith. No, What's your faith? What's your, I'm a Christian. Yeah? Christian, what? Because we have Protestant, we have Lutheran, we have Seven Adventists, we yep. have Yahovah Witnesses. You have to, you have to so, open so, your chest more. So, 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 so a, a Christian, a Christian is someone who is a disciple of Christ. They follow Christ. That is the only thing that a Christian is. All of these denominations that you've talked about, none of them originate in Scripture. 
None of them are prescribed in scripture. Well, they're all the Christians inventions, too. they're all the inventions of men. There is one body of Christ, one Christian community, and it is made up of the groups that you have just aforementioned. But those aforementioned groups do not in themselves represent the totality of the Christian faith. So I, I'm, you didn't answer my question. What I did. is your sect? What sect I don't have about? a sect, I am just a Christian. What uh, book are you reading about Christianity? How did you get educated? I read the Bible. The Bible, what version of the Bible is it? Uh, this, this current one is the NASB, but I also have a New Jerusalem translation, a King James translation, do you use the, and the an ESV. Do you use the Orthodox or the Catholic the, In terms of the, the canon, are you referring to canon? As Why a layman, in terms of their, their Bibles, they claim to be... Are you, are you more... I, I, I'm happy to use either. Uh, so the books you're reading, is it made in the UK, or what country is like the... I think I think the NASB was printed in America. It's printed in America. Yeah. So, it's not so, so you think you think that the Bible, because I'm reading one that was printed in America, it was made in America? Is that what you think? Not like that. I'm thinking that maybe the, the, the I, scholars, I just don't get the, the point you're trying to make. In America, right? You what? The scholars that, that uh, put the book together. No, it's an international. The no, the, the translation and, uh, of the NASB was a collection of international, international scholars from around the world. Twenty twenty model. You what? 2020 version. Is it a 2020 version or 2020? What's a 2020 version? Or 200, 2019 version? It was printed before any of those. Is it what what, what point do you think you're making? That you change it every year you or go is it the same one thing? You, you think it's changed every year? I, I'm asking. Explain to me right, about... So allow me to explain because yeah. a lot of... A lot I just of, want to ask one question because it's very important. Okay, you're going to ask one question and then going to deal with this guy because no offense, you've asked a lot How of questions. How many pillars have you had in the middle of your Right. Battery change. Okay, what's I'll what's just let my friend... That way he didn't. He didn't. I asked him for evidence that his form of salat goes back to Muhammad, and he didn't provide any evidence. There's not much difference, to be honest with you. It's, there is a difference, no though. The main that's difference is in the wilaya. The difference between those slight differences. If you if you pray salat in the Shia, I, I'm, I'm going to make a grand assumption here. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm guessing you're a Sunni. I'm a Muslim. Yes. What, sorry? I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. Okay, so when you pray, do you pray with your hands like this or like this? Hands like this. Open. So you, you you pray with your hands down here. So you're Shia. No, no. Sunnis also pray with their hands as well. Sunnis also pray like this. Well, I, I think. Maliki school open with their hands as well. Right. Okay. Fine. I've just learned something new there. Yeah. Do you pray with a little rock? No. Some people do. Some people don't. Yeah. Yeah. Some Shia do, and some Sunnis don't. So there are differences, no, isn't there? Some Shias also don't. Slight differences, yeah. 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 but the main difference is the... Yeah. However, however let, let, let me come back... This is a let, 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 me, let me... Let me. why they pray on the rock? No, no, no. I, he, he explained it as he believes it's something to, to do with the way that... Spiritual. Spiritual, the cleansing of that. Basically, back in the Prophet's time, people used to prostrate on the earth. And the rock itself was actually made out of clay. Yeah. And uh, basically, it's just... It's just to like denote that. ...made out of clay. People prostrate on that to get close to God. So but which... Back in the old days, we go back to the prophets say people should pray on the bar, on, 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 on the soil. That's fine. And, and even there's hadiths in the Sunni literature that show that people, the companions used to pray on the mud. So should you use a rock or not? I, I, believe, I, should, I believe everybody should use a rock. Should, uh, should you use a clay rock or not when you pray salah? No, it doesn't matter. You think it's down to individual choice? Well, it's down to individual choice the way they have been taught by their own school of thought. So it's not a, a prescribed thing. Muhammad didn't prescribe a way to pray salat. No, he had prescribed. Yeah, it, some basics, yes. What I'm trying to say is, so he is hold on. No, this is this is really important. Yeah. So he prescribed the basics, yeah. but then there were some later developments that you have individual choice over. Yeah, That's what you're saying. It, it's not development. It's just. A, uh, no, it is a development. Are, no, so no. Listen, listen. It is a development. You are you are talking about the postural differences of salat. Yes, <laughs> it's not That's about fine. only postural. It's, it's the connection with the God. It's the main... Yeah, the, he, he touched on the theological differences. Remembrance to God. That you are always answerable to God. My to question Allah. is... It doesn't matter no, it if really you're does. praying with your hands. It really does. Because, for you. Because, no, it does for I you. One second, one second, one second. Let me one ask second. question. No, 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 you, I, no, no, this is... No, one second, one second, one, one second. What's, what's the question? Where so, so, the question? so, so, so my point is... What are you trying to point out? So, so... There you go. This guy's on it. You know exactly where I'm going. 
bidder. Yes, Thank you. So, so you're trying to say... There, you've just evidenced the bidder. You've just evidenced the bidder in your religion. Because what you essentially what argue... Bidder, you know what, is what you essentially what is argue... Innovation, you know the, no, innovation. No, 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 innovation. Doing innovation. something that Muhammad didn't do. No, 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 no. No, no offence, no, but... No, no offence. I'm telling you... If you, you want to correct me, bring out yeah, some yeah. evidence. Yeah, I will tell you. I will so, tell no, you. I'm going to... I'm going to finish my point. I'm going to finish my point. I'm going to... Let me finish my point. Let me go and finish my point. The fact of the matter is, you guys together just argued that Muhammad gave some basics of Salat and that these things like using the prayer stone or the mat is something that you have an individual choice over. But if that means that you are having an individual choice over it, that means it's not something that Muhammad prescribed. Oh, it's brother. something that you later innovated. Brother. And if you innovated, it's not what Muhammad gave you. So no, correct brother. me where my logic is wrong. Brother, your, correct me where my all, logic is wrong. First of all, your definition of bidah is not right. Your tell me what the correct, correct, the tell me what the correct definition bidah is. Something and then show me your you sources. Do, sources, I don't have it right now, but I, I, I know it authentically. If you want, I can provide So it's just that. your opinion so, against my opinion. But no, go on, I'll listen to your opinion. Go on. Yeah, we are here for our opinion. Yes, I'm listening to <laughs> yeah, your opinion. Yeah, please. Bidah is something which you do with the feeling, with the concept that it is the only thing which is uh, preferred in the eyes of God. That is something which is bidah. If I'm using this phone, which Muhammad did not use it, it's not bidah. Understand? So if I'm saying salah, and Muhammad sallallahu has said something which are basics, and which are something which are not basics, I'm doing it, it's not bidah. Okay, the definition that I have read of bidah yeah. is that it is doing something that is not sunnah. It is doing no, something that Muhammad didn't give you a description for example or that he didn't do himself for, and you have I innovated it about the religion no, no well that's my that's no. my understanding you'll have to bring evidence if yeah. you want to correct me <laughs> so in terms of salat in terms of salat let's be clear what actually did muhammad prescribe in terms of salat let me tell you how many motions let me tell you, you, let me tell you. How, how many motions let me tell you, let me tell you. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Standing. 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 Wait, well, I'm sorry. I've got Prostration. two people talking to me. You're just going to have to yeah. wait your turn. Prostration. Prostration. Sajda. Yeah. See? Allah least, Allah. Yeah, Allahu Akbar. Three. Your, your intention that I'm saying salam. Yeah. You are not just doing an exercise. Yeah. That is intention. Ablution. Yep. Ablu no, ablutions would do. I'm talking about the actual pro the, the, the act yeah, of there are, there are There are things which are ablution, inside, inside Agreed. which are inside, which are apparent yes. and which are time bound. Okay. So it has to be time so bound did, also. Did Muhammad say to pray with your hands like this or like this? You know the know. best answer to this question. You don't know. Yeah. Exactly. You come That's with my point. Listen, listen, listen. The best answer You don't know. Listen, no, it's listen, important. Listen. No, let me know. No, 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 no. It's no, important. See, that's yeah. It's important. Yeah. Because you're arguing that your religion was perfected by yeah. Muhammad. Yeah. But the reality yeah. is when you perform Salat, you don't Yo. know if one of the postures comes from no, Muhammad no, 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 or not. No, 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 no. Come what with is us. religion? Come with me as a guest. What is religion? Half an hour. I'll show you how they pray. Religion is the, way, way, is the way of life because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has asked us to follow. Including is, Salat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Including and Salat. So, but if, it, but should you pray like this? Brother, or should you pray brother, like this? I'm so sorry that you are just trying to prove your point without any substance. Thank you. No, there your, is substance your, your there. Your substance is only one point. That oh, if there's multiple you are points. If you are not told to uh, hold your hands like this or that, then your religion is not complete. Sorry. Well, tell Sorry. me, is your Sorry. salat is the salat of the Shia valid? Absolutely. Is the if salat have, of the Sunni if, valid? If they have those four or five basic principles intact, it's valid. If they don't, if, if they don't do qiyam, qiyam is like standing. Yeah. It will not be valid. And if they are not, I mean, if they are. Uh, physically unable to so hold on stand. a second if you don't stand during salat and if you are physically uh, physically I mean, able yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I accept yeah, that, that yeah, there's uh, yeah, yeah. there's a count uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. leniency for yeah, people yeah. with disabilities yeah, yeah, yeah. but if you're what you're saying is if you don't stand when you're able yeah, to do yeah, salat yeah. your salat is invalid is that yeah, correct yeah, yeah, yeah. but yet you're saying that that posture is important yeah. but where you place your hands is not important that's not for us. Where, not where, does, where does Muhammad say that standing invalidates your salat, but the, the posture of moving your hands doesn't? Well, uh, if you are asking me, words to those if you are asking me the clear-cut evidence or clear-cut reference to some book, I don't have it right now. Okay, but fair that enough. is. 
that is there. If you, I if, find you are, it, if you are really serious, you can get it. I find it from peculiar. The I find the, it peculiar yeah. that we have two forms of salad. Yes. They are five. different. Not two. There are four or five. Four or five yeah. different forms of salad yeah. amongst the different groups of Muslims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me an egg. What, what other ones? I know about the Shia and the Sunni. I mean, holding hand like this, holding hands like this, leaving your hand like this. Yeah. Yeah. These are three or four forms. Three or four forms. Yeah. Are, the, are there any other differences? There's also the use of the any clay stone. Yeah, clay stone is fine. Why yeah. are you just hooked to a clay stone? Just Why? Clay. Because Why are you, if I'm reading on a blue mat or a red mat or a, 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 a floor or on a carpet, it doesn't make any difference. The, car, the, the, the mat what, is not important to salad. What salad is? The mat is not important to salad. No. That, so why are you raising that? I'm not raising that. So you, you said clay. Clay is the some clay form stone of, yeah. is used by certain groups of Muslims. So what? They claim so what? that this this Diversity. they claim that their salat, Diversity. their way of salat. What salat is intended for? The intention is not in dispute. Yeah. What is in dispute is the innovation and the fact that a perfected you religion just, you have has human in, innovation. You have very incomplete knowledge and you are just trying to use that incomplete knowledge to question, is, the, is, to question the authenticity of Salah. Yes, I am. Sorry. Yes, Sorry. I am. Because your salats are different, you don't know which one comes from Muhammad. Your, your, your car no, is different. Because we have one direction. Your, your is different. Your one language direction is different. To Mecca, understand? So Sunni or Shia, when do we pray? We, pass, we, we go all the way. We never pass up to Mecca. Pagans I, used to worship in Mecca. That does that prove? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just asking I, you a I, I really pray to God that Allah gives you the proper thinking to understand the, the, the knowledge, to understand the authenticity. Should humans, and, should humans innovate? Should humans innovate upon the five pillars of Islam? Innovate meaning if you meaning are, if you are using jihad. my definition. No, istihad. If there is one word, istihad, which is every because we have three sources of rules uh, from where the rules of Islam come. Yeah. One is the absolute, which is Quran. Yep. Then is Sunnah. Yep. And then is istihad. Okay. Istihad is when scholars sit together yep. and they feel that the world has changed, the time has changed, and they have to bring about this change. They sit together and they do istihad. Yep. So, yeah, absolutely, yes. So People in the practice think. of the five pillars, yeah. it is okay to innovate <coughs> and to do something that yeah. Muhammad but didn't not, do, not, to do it differently not, from the not, way Muhammad not did. Not every Tom, Dick and Harry can do it. There is a proper forum and a proper legal uh, system which will allow that change to happen. Not a proper legal system. Do it. So Islam and the practice of the five pillars yeah. is being co-created between the scholars and the sources. Not co-created, I would well, say. You can't have it both ways. You can't have no, no, no. that the these word, councils I'm arguing, of scholars I, I'm not are coming to together. Co-created. I'm. 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 For example. But if when, you're when doing some. Hajj, but if you're doing hajj, some. When you no. Let's talk about yeah, salat. Yeah. If you're doing something why, that Muhammad why, didn't why do. Let's talk only? about why? salat. Why? Let's talk about why, because why that's the example. Why can't I give you an example there, of, because, of Hajj? Because we're using the example of Salat. Yeah. In terms of Salat, yeah. you're saying that it is acceptable for scholars yeah. to adapt or modulate yeah. Salat according to the circumstances. Absolutely, yes. That's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. So when, I can give you an example of that. So when Muhammad... So I can when, give you an example of that. Of Salah, being yeah, adapted. Of Salah, yeah. Okay, go on. Because... By the scholars, not by, by Muhammad. By the scholars, yeah, by the scholars, that when this timing uh, dispute comes in Scandinavia or the North Pole, yep. that how would you do the Salah? Because Salah exactly. is related to the sun. Yes. So the scholars came up with some solution. They yes. said, yes, this is the way you, you will say Salah in North Pole. Yes. You will say Salah in South Pole. Yeah. So, so Islam is being invented as it goes Not invented, in time. sorry. Invented is the wrong word. There is, it's being co-created by Muslim not scholars co from generation not invented, to generation. No, sorry. When, when, they are, when, they, when they, Muhammad... They give you... When, they, they when give you, said, they give you was a, Islam a perfect way? at the time of Muhammad? Absolutely. So why did you need to add to it? We are not adding to Do it. you add something that is perfect? No. When you when you were born, you were wearing some clothes which you are unable to wear it now. Do you? So it doesn't. It doesn't yeah, because mean. they're not perfect. Yeah, yeah. Because they're not perfect. No, no, it was man perfect. Made. Yeah, it because was they're man-made and not perfect. No, 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 Thank no, no, you. No, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Listen, you are just using this co-invented. Not you are just trying to prove it without having that proof. No, so but the you evidence come up, is you you've, come up you've with given me the evidence. You didn't even what, listen to what yourself. Evidence? Because Muhammad gave something that was perfect in the seventh century, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Right. So if it was perfect in the do you when you've got a perfect house, do you change it? Yes. You do? Yes. 
So you change perfection. Can man perfection? What is perfection? Can man, Are you talking about absolute? Man, yes. Absolute. So Islam in was what not way? absolutely perfect it was, in the seventh century. My dear brother. Is that what you say? My dear brother. No, you are putting your words in my mouth. I'm not saying that. What I'm you are just trying to capture me with the use of words. Co invention, I'm not, reinvention. I'm, I'm not I'm not no, 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 being no, no, no. sophist. No, I am simply dear, building on what you're saying. What, what, is your purpose of, of this understanding is that if you come to understand, you will follow it, or you are just arguing for the sake of argument? What I'm what I'm suggesting to you is that you need to reflect about whether, whether I reflect every day five times. When, when, I, when, I, to, when I stand for prayer, when I you stand need, for you salah, need to reflect. You I need reflect. To reflect. I reflect. You need to reflect yeah. on whether what you believe about Islam is actually true. Alhamdulillah, perfect. That's what you need to perfect. reflect on. Perfect. And that's the point. And you're there making is this nothing which because. It has been uh, proven. It has been uh, the, the, the 1400 or 1500 years time has proven it is a perfect, the most perfect religion. Well, no, the it book, hasn't. The book is there. And no, the it book hasn't. Is, it, it the has. book has been changed. The hadiths no, 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 were invented. No, sorry. Salat was adapted. <laughs> Hajj <laughs> was adapted. No, no. Uh, it has the roots. Basic, it, the it, basics are the, not The practice changed. of fasting was adapted. No. The the, 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 the law schools were invented. The, 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 this the, is the, your. No, these, this these is are all pure, historically this is accurate. Your, pure, pure, these are all historically is, accurate let me tell statements. You, in a very Every humble way. One. In a, in a one very loving and humble Which way. Which one of these statements was wrong? Every statement. Every statement. So the law schools were established by Muhammad. They didn't come later. Law schools? That's one of the things that I said. I said that the law schools were invented later. So, so, so as car or motorcycles or planes. But you just said that I was lying when I said that. My dear. So was I telling the truth or telling a lie? No, I don't know. You, you are, you are a I was telling of, the truth. You are a master of words. I was telling you the truth. Thank that, you very much. That, there you go, ladies and have. gentlemen. It's that, official. Yeah. I have been declared the master of words. words. I'll put that on my CV. Yeah, your intention to understand or your No, my intention, intention is to cause you is to reflect. Is that is my data. Alhamdulillah, I reflect every day five anyway, times. Anyway, go on, bro. You wanted to ask a question. Bye-bye. Take care. Happy New Year. And what I understood from your... Uh, Sorry, let, let your, this... Just one word, just one. I appreciate that I understood that the crusade is like anything which is going against the evil. Which a crusade is any noble cause yeah, yeah. against evil, yeah. So, go on. No, no, I'm going to stay on camera. You can stay off camera if you like. You can stay off camera if you like. Are what, you on what? YouTube? Soko Films. Nice Soko? to meet you again. Films. Happy New Year. Soko Films. Soko Films, yeah. Go on. No, no, I, I'm going to stay on camera. Yes, because we're recording. You can, you can stay here though. You can stay on this side and ask me. Why don't you want it on camera? Why don't you want it on camera? You're not on camera, only your voice is on camera. You are off camera, I am on camera, no one can see your face. What is it you would like to say? The innovations. Yeah. No, no, no. Why, why can't you put it on record? Why, why don't you want to put it on record? If you can't have it on camera, then, then, no, no, no. Why can't you have it on? Yeah, because I want to hear what you say on record. I wonder what that question was going to be. I have no idea. Could you, you get JC? Yeah, please. You alright bro? Yeah, I'm good. Good. You're a Christian, aren't you? I am. Good. Thanks be to God. Are you having a good Christmas? You too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In fact, my Christmas is... Uh, Into the 7th. 7th of January, yes. Yeah. You're going by the Julian calendar. Yeah. Yeah. We, we have our calendar. I'm from Ethiopia. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I was just reading about that recently. The Gregorian and the Julian calendar. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, I think I think you guys are gonna have to accept that the calendar needs to change, you know, because the, the, it's connected to the sun. That's why we ch we change the calendar. And which calendar? The Gregorian calendar. That's why we changed it in the 1500s. Our calendar is uh, related to directly to the, to the Christianity. It was the Julian calendar. Yeah, I think our. I don't know which one is Julian, which one is Gregorian, anyway. So, so the Julian calendar is the one you use? Yeah. That was connected to Julius Caesar. Juli but the festivals, that when the festivals were placed on that calendar, that comes from religion. But the, 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 the timing of the calendar is connected to the Julian calendar, and it's off by 11 minutes. Okay, finish. 
Uh, unless this brother's got any questions. Yeah, yeah. Actually, he's got. He's got he wants to debate you. I think, but he wants to be off camera. I, I, I want it to be on record. Okay. I can, I can play your face. No, but the thing you don't is, have to appear on camera. You could just stand there, stand there so and then you don't appear on camera. No, no, you gotta be standing here. So, you get, so otherwise, I oh, you can stand voice. there. No, no, you, I won't be able to catch his voice. I can repeat what he says. You stand there, say what you want, and I'll repeat it. So, what's gone? Yep. So, so my understanding. What was the question? So, so, the, so the, so the question was, what is my understanding of the innovations that were created by later Muslims to the practice of salat, okay, yeah. established by Muhammad? Right. Fair. Yeah. So. 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 So my, here, here's, the, here's, here's the evidence of the innovation. You have two forms of Islam. Each one of them practices Salat and they are slightly different from one another. Now depending on, depending on most Muslims, when you speak to most Muslims, they will accept one another's Salat, it seems here in the park. They'll accept one another's Salat. But the obvious question to ask is, which form of that Salat goes back to Muhammad. Which one did Muhammad actually teach? Did he teach that you should put your hands by your sides? Or did he teach that you should fold your hands in front of you? These prostrations are the form of Salat. They are different. Sunnis don't pray like Shia and Shia don't pray like Sunni for a reason. Now, if it's a case that it's a personal choice, as, as it kind of was argued by you and this other gentleman collectively, you kind of argued that it was down to a personal choice. You didn't argue that, did you? No, I didn't, no, I didn't say personal choice. I think it's just so, so explain to me, which one do you think came from Muhammad? To fold your arms across or to leave your arms down by your sides? Which one do you think came from Muhammad? According, according to basically the way we do we obviously follow the Sunnah of the Prophet. And we take our teachings from Prophet Muhammad and it goes back, our teaching goes back to the Prophet. So we believe on the Prophet to pray with his arms open. His arms open? With his arms open. So, according to our teaching. According to your teaching yeah. and according to your sources, sources yeah. Muhammad prayed with his arms open wide. That's what we believe. Yeah. Right, so like this, down by the sides. The Sunnis believe that it's folded. What evidence would you to provide to a Sunni that they should leave their arms open like Muhammad did? You're not answering the objection. The objection was repeat your question. You need to prove to him the innovation of the Shia. No, I asked the brother to show me. I asked the brother to show me. I don't know who innovated. I'm not saying the Shia innovated. I'm not saying the Sunni innovated. I'm saying that somebody innovated and I don't know who. That's what I'm actually saying. I'm saying that someone post hoc after Muhammad modulated the practice of Salat because you have two forms of Salat. They both claim to go back to Muhammad, but they're different. And if they're different, it's because somewhere along the line, something got corrupted either accidentally or deliberately, either by one party or by both parties. So I want to find out who was the one that corrupted the Salat, the Shia or the Sunni. So my question to you is, my question to you is, what is your evidence that the Shia way of doing Salat goes back to Muhammad and not the Sunni way of... We have a source they have their sources. Now it's down up to you to decide what is an innovation and what is not. What was innovated after Prophet Muhammad, what wasn't? Now that's your research, you can ask him, he can go back to his source and say the reason why we pray like this is because what our source is saying. Right, so what we've got now then, are there's Muslim Sunni sources and Shia Sunni sources. So we have two types of sources that are separate from one another. 
that are different to one another with some overlap, is that correct? Right, so in terms of that overlap, in terms of that difference, yeah? Which of these sources, how do you evidence that your sources, the ones that are different from the Sunni, the ones that contradict the Sunni, go back to Muhammad and not theirs? This is how it is. In short, give it the answer, give it to you in short. Muhammad spoke about two weighty things, the Book of God and his Ahl al-Bayt family members. He said, hold on to these two, you won't go astray, right? So therefore his commandment before his companions, before his other family members, everyone was to follow the Quran and his Ahl al-Bayt. Do you have anything in the Quran that talks about the, the weightiness of Muhammad's family? Well, one minute. We do. But the thing is, this is his command, which itself is weighty. It has come to us from the views of more than 30 companions. Not one witness, 30 witnesses. Because he's strong, so therefore we would rather follow the Yahud al bayt in their interpretation yep. and understanding of the Quran, yep. rather than the companion. So this is evidence, there's nothing more than that. That's so your, your argument is that there are 30 companions that talk about the importance of Muhammad's family, is that correct? Yeah, Quran and the family. Right, but here's the problem. As a Christian looking in on this dispute between Sunni and Shia, what I see, what I see is the fact that they're both claiming that their sources go back to the companions. The Sunnis claim that their sources go back to the companions, and the Shia claim that their sources go back to the companions. We've just given you evidence yeah. With the news of 30 companions, you need to go back I'm, I'm to going to, I am going to address that. I am going to address that. But the, I'm going to address that. But the point of the, 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 the fact of the matter is, Muslims make a big deal about how you can trust their hadiths. They make this big argument, oh, the hadiths are more reliable than the Bible. I am going, no, no, I, I am going to finish what I'm saying and then I'm going to address my point. I'm going to finish what I'm saying and then I will address my point. Yeah, I have an agenda. Of course I have an agenda. Of course. Why don't you let me finish what I'm saying? Why don't you let me finish what I'm saying? Why don't you let me finish what I'm saying? What I'm saying? What I'm saying? So the fact of the matter is, Muslims make this big argument that their hadiths are more reliable than our gospels. But the, the reality is, as we see by the debates between the Shia and the Sunni, those Muslims themselves can't agree upon the reliability of their hadiths. They're knocking chunks out of one another. The Shia are saying that the Sunni hadiths are unreliable, the, the Sunnis are saying that the Shia hadiths are unreliable, and the reality is that if they can't agree upon which hadiths are reliable amongst themselves, how can we possibly know? Perfect. By contrast, by contrast, we don't want by contrast, we just need Christians do not disagree about the Gospels. Every single Christian, whether they're Roman Catholic, Eastern Orthodox or Protestant, all agree on Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and the other 27 books of the New Testament. There is universal agreement amongst Christians on the New Testament, but there is no universal agreement between Shia and Sunni about which hadiths you can believe. So when they say, when they say, coming, coming back to your point, let, let me just finish the point, because I, I wanted to make that point, it's important, because he's claiming that they have 30 companions that say about the importance of the family of Muhammad. Now, I reject that logic. I reject that logic because it is disputed by Sunnis. That's why you reject it. I reject it I because reject it's used. I reject Jews it because reject I reject the Sun. I reject the Shia logic because it is disputed by Sunnis. On the same basis Let me finish. Let me finish. However, if you can show me in the Quran, if you can show me in the Quran that Muhammad emphasized his own family, then I will think that you have weight to your argument. What's going to happen? Are you going to accept Islam? No, I'm not going to accept no, Islam, but I might believe that the Sunnis were the ones that corrupted Islam. Let the sister ask a question. Yeah. Now it's leading to division. It clearly shows that you've got an agenda. Here. Yes, I have an You're agenda. To divide the Muslims. You're not here to learn. Muslims You're are not divided. They were divided Muslims centuries ago. Divided. It's not got we anything to do with me. We believe in the Prophet and we believe in the Quran. End of discussion. But you don't just believe in the Prophet, do you? Yes, we do. 
You also, as a Shia, believe in the Imani, the, the, the continuation of the, the prophetic authority. Is that true or not? Do you believe in an Imani? You open up so many different topics. We started on innovation. So let's talk about innovation. No, 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 no but you have not proven. The hadiths are innovated. Can you show me in the Quran where Muhammad, can you show me the only text that we can date to Muhammad's time is the Quran? The hadiths came later, hundreds of years later in terms of the Sunni hadiths. The collection Sahih al-Bukhari, do you accept it or not? You accept all of it? So the Shia accept all of, you accept all of the hadiths that come from Aisha? If it goes against the Quran, we don't. If, it, if it's with the Quran, we accept it. Right. So, in terms of the Quran, does the Quran... You're jumping onto hadiths, you're talking about innovation... I am trying to talk about innovation, but you keep interrupting me. You keep interrupting me. Show me in the Quran where it says that you lay out hadiths. Show me. Show me. Do you have any? Do you have any statement in the Quran validating the use of hadiths? Yours? No. None. Go on. Do you have any references to how the Sabians used to pray? Because the Sabians had prayers. They were in the Mecca area, and they say that it was the Sabians from which Islam took the prayer. So, do you know how the Sabians used to pray? So in terms and that of, in, 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 I, I, I don't, I, I do not know of any sources talking about Sabian prayer. Have you got any to share? No. But in terms of prostration, in terms, in, in terms of prostration, Christians prostrate in our prayers. Lots of Muslims don't know this. They often come along and they say, "Oh well, you know, you Christians, you don't pray like Jesus." And then they talk about Christ in the Garden of Gethsemane when Christ lay prostrate on the floor, and they say, "Oh, he prays like a Muslim, but you don't pray like that." The fact of the matter is, Christians were using prostration centuries before Muslims. If you go to the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, the Coptic Orthodox Church, or even if you go to the Catholic Church on Easter, on Good Friday, you will see Christians prostrate. You go to any Russian Orthodox Church, Christians prostrate. I go to a church that does prostration in prayer. So the idea that Christians don't use prostration is a ridiculous claim. Lots of religions use prostration. The early pagans in Mecca would prostrate around the Kaaba to their idols. And the Muslims, in imitation of their pagan predecessors, prostrate before a stone rock in the Kaaba. Christian prayer is different from Islamic prayer. Because it's about praying and worshipping in spirit and in truth. And we use the words, of our, the, the words that the Lord taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. This is not an innovation. These are the words of our Lord. They come to us and we Christians practice it. Whether we prostrate or stand or sit is irrelevant. But in Islam, you have a form of prayer, none of which can be linked back to Muhammad. Muslims can't show five times of prayer in the Quran. They can't show the use of hadiths in the Quran. They can't show the nature of their prostration in the Quran. It's innovation upon innovation upon innovation. It is a post hoc development of Islam. But yet Muslims also claim that Islam is a perfected religion at the time of Muhammad. Why do you change something that's perfect? If it's perfect, how can you improve upon it? If it's perfect, how can you make it better? But yet, time and time again, through the development of Islam, we see exactly that. Development and change. Development and change of something that is perfect cannot create perfection. If it was perfect at the beginning, 
you changing it will only make it less perfect, not more perfect. How can you improve upon something that God gave you? If Islam was perfected at the time of Muhammad, how can you improve upon it by creating hadiths? If it was perfected at the time of Muhammad, how can you improve upon it through the use of ijtihad? If it was perfected at the time of Muhammad, how can you improve upon it by adapting Salat? If it was perfected at the time of Muhammad, how can you make it better by inventing law schools? Any development or change to that which Muhammad had perfect at his own time can only mean imperfection because the source is a human source. Christianity by contrast is different. Christianity by contrast begins at the imperfection of man. It starts by saying that man is a sinner and corrupt and therefore any system that you place over man he will corrupt that system also. The point of the Christian faith is to mitigate the sinfulness of man, to improve man's nature, to make man better than he is born in his natural state by reordering his values and by giving him a narrative to live by that is different from the one that he feels in his heart naturally. Because man naturally gravitates towards his lusts and his desires and his passions. But Christ gives us a narrative of self-denial and the reordering of our values based upon faith, hope and love. And I offer to you, Muslims who are listening to this on camera, that there is something better than Islam. Your religion logically fails. Your religion sociologically has failed. Your religion economically has failed. Your religion militarily has failed. Your religion in terms of its authorities has failed. But the Christian faith stands because you can be a disciple of Jesus from the first century to the 21st century because innovation and adaption is part and parcel of the religion because the Christian faith deals with ontology it deals with human beings and the way of being human rather than a system of laws and that is why it is a better way to live any questions before I go and get a cup of tea? Nope, good. Good to see you. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas.